at uh, USESCO Africa. Uh, today we decided to collaborate or to join the Ocean Circle, Trader Circle here in Mamangina. Their environment, their working environment and the people. So it's a, it's a good opportunity to be here and see uh, the people working around Mamangina work in a good condition. I am going Mr. Alinur Safi leo. Asante. I'm Jesse and I'm here for USESCO Africa to help clean up uh, the beach. Uh, my inspiration for being here is I like to travel, mm -hmm. but I also like to make a difference when I travel. Oh, that's not there. Because I... Mimi mm introduced -hmm. my letter was Zungu Hapa and I'm happy working with USESCO Africa. So I can find a clean less a killer siku. What we are now, we are trying to make some to add some more dust bin so that what we are we strictly mutu and atupa for dust bin. Hey guys, we are at Mamagena Waterfront. Uh, we have a visitor here and uh, officials are representing uh, people that are facilitating the cleanup in Mobasa that is scheduled on every Monday. Uh, we want them to introduce themselves and to tell us more what are we doing here, what is the inspiration behind all this. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for being here. Yes, my name is Eric Muli. I work at uh, USESCO Africa. Uh, today we decided to collaborate or to join the Ocean Circle, Trader Circle here in Mamangina. It is a circle of the traders in Mamangina. They usually have a, an arrangement to clean their environment, their working environment and the place where people come to rest, tourists and uh, internal tourists, uh, every Monday and Friday. So we decided to come and join hands with them, clean with them and try to see where maybe they are having challenges. And uh, that is the reason we are here, to clean Mawangina, to keep it clean. The collaboration with them, with Ali Nur Ali and uh, the Ocean Traders Circle, because we met them some time back. Uh, we are going to join hands with them, see where they have challenges, and uh, help keep this environment clean each and every day. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you. How are you both? I'm fine, and okay. you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm Dennis uh, Mutuku. I'm a member of USESCO Africa, working with USESCO Africa in Mombasa, that is the Mombasa branch. And today we are here at Bambagina doing the cleanup. Uh, the cleanup is aimed uh, to, to clean the environment and make the environment look good for people, for the, the, for the local traders around Bambagina, and also for the people, for the tourists who visit Bambagina. As USESCO Africa, we promote businesses for other people. So it's a, it's a good opportunity to be here and see uh, the people working around Mamagina work in a good condition. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to say briefly about USESCO Africa, USESCO Africa is an NGO that is dedicated uh, to work with the, with the vulnerable society. And uh, in USESCO we have three pillars, that is education, and education, health and agriculture. And also we, we do some uh, cleanups to help, uh, to help people do their work in a safe, and good place. Like in Mombasa, we, we have a marine, marine conservation where we go to Shelly Beach and uh, we have a team in uh, Shelly Beach who help us uh, clean the beach and also we help them, uh, we help promote their businesses around the beach. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. You? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Maybe I'll start with your name and what you are represented. I'm Jesse and I'm here for USESCO Africa to help clean up uh, the beach. Okay. Okay, thank you. And uh, maybe your inspiration being here? Uh, uh, my inspiration for being here is mm -hmm. I like to travel, mm -hmm. but I also like to make a difference when I travel. Oh, that's not there. Because I am in a privileged position from where I come from, the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. uh, so I like to help out the people mm -hmm. in Africa who are mm -hmm. less privileged. Okay. In, in Netherlands, it's a country where you, you do the rad reclamation mm -hmm. uh, most. So it's a country known for agriculture, horticulture, yes. uh, and in environment. So is, is your inspiration about the environment drawn from your country, uh, from what you do there, or from your yeah, personal I, perspective? I, I think it comes from my country because it's, uh, they teach us as little kids already how important the environment is and especially a clean environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for me to help here to clean this environment and hopefully keep it clean by also teaching the people of Kenya, mm -hmm. that really warms my heart. Okay. Uh, in Africa, uh, many people are talking about stabilizing the economies, stabilizing the country uh, to make it a good attraction for tourists. But we have never had a chat with a tourist. Let's imagine you are a tourist. Okay. What, what measures would you advise African countries or governments to do uh, to make sure tourists continue coming? 
from your own perspective? From my perspective, uh, it's very important to have a clean beach. Okay. If uh, people from Europe come, mm -hmm. they expect the beach to be clean. clean yeah. If there's a lot of trash on the beach, they will be like, oh, I don't want to go there. Mm -hmm. So if the beach is clean, mm -hmm. they will tell their friends if they mm -hmm. came here, like, mm -hmm. oh, you definitely need to go to Kenya. The people are lovely, the beaches are clean. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's a very big part of tourism, okay, okay, I think. Okay. Uh, so if you allow me, uh, sir, uh, there has been a discussion of uh, we use plastic, we recycle them, or entirely we avoid the plastic? Uh, I don't think you can avoid the plastic in this day and age, mm -hmm. so you should uh, really focus on recycling, okay. in my opinion. Okay. Uh, maybe what's about your opinion on the on the blue economy? Uh, maybe uh, make sure, making sure you don't pollute the sea, uh, making sure we don't overfish. Yes, exactly that. Okay. Make sure you care for the environment you live in because okay. it's mm -hmm. it's your home you mm -hmm. live here you take care of your house mm -hmm. okay so maybe you also take care of the environment okay thank you maybe as we end up you see if you're around me it can be a maybe memory from people maybe memory from what you do what would be a memory when you go back uh one memory for me in particular is uh, last friday mm -hmm. i went to a school and i gave some kids uh, mm -hmm. some footballs and some jump ropes that yeah. i gave them mm -hmm. the amount of money i spent mm -hmm. on that in the netherlands mm -hmm. I could never make 200 children in the Netherlands happy, happy with than it. in Kenya. Happy okay, than in Kenya. Thank you, so much. <laughs> thank you so much. How are you? I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, kwa jina mimi naitwa Peter. Mm -hmm. uh, tuko hapa mama Ngena watu wanafanya clean up. Mm -hmm. Nimeweza kuongea na washikadau, mm -hmm. washirika. Mm -hmm. Pengine wewe utabio unaitwa nani na wewe yeah. ukuwa mkazi kama mimi je unafurahi kwa haya tunafanya? Yeah, mimi naitwa Pauline Rose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm mkazi wa Kalikoni. Mm -hmm. Mimi ndo nimeleta wazungu hapa mm -hmm. and I'm happy working with Cisco Africa. Mm -hmm. So we started working in uh, Shelly Beach mm -hmm. Rescue Team mm -hmm. and right now I took them yeah. here and mm -hmm. we have some other projects we are mm -hmm. doing in Tongwe mm -hmm. with women's groups. Mm -hmm. So today we came mm -hmm. here and joined these people mm -hmm. to work with them and I'm very happy to clean Mamangina. Mm -hmm. yes. how, do, how do you feel? Kwa humu mjua Mubasa, kumekua na vitu mingi ya insecurity, lakini watu wanasema huko kisauni huko wapi huko wapi lakini hapa mamangina mimi ni mkazi wa Mombasa miaka 8 mm. lakini sijai kuja hapa nikaibiwa ama nikatishiwa yeah. wewe ukuwa hapa kama mtu mwenye mfasiliti wa wazungu wa kuja wa clean up mm. unafiraje mamangina haijakuwa mjuko na bad repetition ya kuiba madawa no with mm -hmm. now i've tried to get any uh, about that madawa kuiba mm -hmm. but i know it's a very good place for people to come and oh, yeah, 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 any relax. visitors from any part, yeah, of the any part of the country Don't because you. most of people are coming from up country mm -hmm. they do go the first place they mm -hmm. come to amangina okay. in case of some good laws waiting for the mm -hmm. the one who invited mm -hmm. he or her mm -hmm. in mombasa mm -hmm. he has to come to mamangina mm -hmm. okay maybe yeah. kitu ya musho tukiambia watazamaji kuhusu mazingira kitu nazawambia yeah that is the one thing because mm. right now mm. kama leo mm. mama ngine ilikuwa imeja sana na uchafu mm. so na imagine ingekuwa for one week ingekuwa imekuwa chafu sana mm. Mm. so etakana ifanywe cleanless kila siku mm. yeah na watu wakija hapa wa make sure kuna kutupa taka ovi. yeah watu wakija hapa now mm. we are trying to make some to add some more dust bin so okay. that watu wakikuja mm. waiwe strictly mtu anatupa kwa dust mm. bin okay. yes asandi sana mama kuongea na sisi you. najua watu watakusikiza na Wasipo sikiza mambo ya environment ni sisi tutaangalia na hupo na sisi. Sasa lazima wasikie na mimi nitakuangalia nitakuuliza mbona hawa watu hajatusikiza. So na visa zima hii jili yetu yenye inaendelea. Hii jili endelee mbele lakini pia nitakukumbusha mbona. Hii watu bado wanana dustbin bado natupwa. Ni mimi naitwa Akuna Kulala. Niko eneo ya Mamangina Waterfront. Na leo ni siku nzuri ya kufanya usafi. Tume tumepata fursa kwa coordinator wetu Ali Nur na tumekuja hapa na wazungu tumeokota takataka zote ambazo zilikuwa hapa ndani na tunapongeza sana mimi kama kuna kulala mimi napenda kwanza environment penye tunafanyia kazi ama penye watu wanakuja kupumzika inakuwa palipa safi hata wewe ukitoka na robi utoke sehemu gani ukikuja mamangina hapa unakuta mamangina iko safi na iko hewa eh, safi tunataka kitu kama hiyo. Sasa hata wewe ukikuja hapa Mamangina, e, wewe mwenyewe pia usiweke uchafu hapa ndani. Ukinunua kitu kama ice cream, au unue kachiri ile katasi yake, usitupe kila mahali. Tuko na dustbin hapa, unaweza kutupa hapa kwa sababu mazingira masafi ndio navutia hata wageni. Kwa hivyo hapa Mamangina, nashukuru sana tumefanya usafi. Na hata pia ukikuja hapa, kama unaweza kutusaidia pia sisi usafi ukikuja huku, usafi tunafanya every Monday mwisho wa mwezi. Nashukuru sana tena na pongeza sana Mr. Alinur kwa tufanyiza usafi siku ya leo. Asante.